What's up all you nerds? My name's Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative. I like reading things, fantasy, sci-fi, horror and manga, a little not fiction. Oh, ring that bell, ring that bell, comment, like, subscribe. If you want to share it with your friends, that would be great. Hey! So in today's episode of Bookish Related Fun, I'm going to do the Among Us tag. I recently saw Eric from Break Even Books do this tag on his channel. The original creator is actually the glittery bookworm. She doesn't have a booktube channel, but she is on Instagram and that's where she started the tag. So I'm going to have her linked below so you can go check out her answers. And also I'll have Eric down there too. As soon as I saw this was a tag going around, I had to do it. For those of you who have been around for a while, you're not at all surprised by this. However, if you're on the newer side to the Nerdy Narrative family, I will link in the description box down below Andy Smith's channel. Andy put together a couple of game nights of booktubers playing among us. I have been lovingly dubbed the murder queen, but check those out and see why I earned the title the murder queen. But yeah, I absolutely had the best time playing with my friends. The game itself is a lot of fun. It's really popular. I'm sure most of you have played or you've seen people play it. It's just, it's a great time sink. But now there's a tag. I had to do it. Let's get into it. So, so the first prompt is The Lobby. Name the next book on your TBR. The Lobby in Among Us is where all of you hang out waiting until you start the game. For me, that will be Sinless Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. This is going to be a new series for me. It is a very well-loved series that was recommended to me by Alan from the Library of Alexandria. I can't wait to get into this book. I'm excited for more than one reason. One, Alan loved it so much. Two, Ramsey from Rajasthan loved it so much. And Ramsey and I have almost the exact same book opinions about every book that we both have read. So I can't lose there. And then three, I love the book cover. The book cover has a fascinating design to me. And I am one of those people that will totally pick up and read a book because of its cover. I mean, that method, you just can't go wrong, am I right? Let's see, the next prompt is crewmate. Name an author you trust. You are going to be assigned one of two roles when you play Among Us. You will either be a crewmate or you will be an imposter. A crewmate is someone who is trying to complete the different tasks around the ship. If the crewmates are successful and they get all of their individual tasks completed before the imposter kills off too many people, that's how they win the game that will 100% be Brandon Sanderson. I've currently read five Brandon Sanderson novels, unless you count The Wheel of Time that he wrote, so there's more, plus some short stories. Every one of them, except for a couple, have been five-star reads. And the reason why I say that I trust him, his books are thousand-page chunkers, and the man can still put out five-star quality work yeah, I 100% trust him. Insta buy, I'll own everything the man has ever written. He is somebody that I will reread these thousand page chunkers over and over and over and love them more every time that I do. Next prompt, imposter. Name a book that betrayed you. If you get the role of imposter, your goal is to sabotage the ship to keep the crewmates from completing too many tasks or interrupt them from completing tasks to go fix the ship so they don't die. And then your other goal is to kill as many people as possible without getting voted off and found out that you're the imposter. Do I really need to go into this one again? Yeah, this one was brutal. I don't think I'll ever forgive Jim Butcher for this book. I don't think I ever will. Next prompt. Task. Name a book that took you a while to finish. So there are several tasks around your ship or your map that you can complete in order to just maintain your ship, such as establishing communication, dumping garbage from the cafeteria, things of that nature. A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martin. This book took me forever to read and it's tiny. I'll read a thousand page book 
in a matter of days, but this one took me over a month because the author made this book an onion. There's just way too many complicated layers surrounding the course. I am going to give her the benefit of the doubt and read the follow-up to this one to see if it gets better. So we'll see how that shakes out in a few months. I think we're supposed to get the second one in March of 2021, but the follow-up, which is Desolation Called Peace, is on NetGalley right now. So if you love this book, you might want to go over there and see if NetGalley will let you get the arc. And then the final prompt is Sabotage. Name a book that surprised you. So Sabotage is where you basically go and break stuff to distract the crewmates from their tasks. And usually the things you're sabotaging are crucial. If they don't hurry, if the crewmates don't hurry up and fix it, you could go ahead and just wipe them out of the game and you'll instantly win. Sword of Kaigan by M.L. Wang. I don't know why this book surprised me. Angela from Literature Science Alliance gushed over this book. I knew I was going to love it based off of her recommendation. I just didn't know how much. And even with all the information she gave me about this book, she didn't come close to scratching the surface for how wonderful it was. The character development was amazing. This is my favorite fantasy standalone book. Favorite. It is just a work of art. All of the people that I know in my life, even Andy Smith, who we never agree on anything, the one book we've agreed upon is this book right here. People who have, I mean, I've just, I've never come across another book that so many of us on booktube have agreed on. It is amazing. If you haven't read this book, you're missing out. Fascinating, wonderful, just the way the characters are introduced and then developed and then the story and just the different plots. Oh. This is a book I wish I could reread again for the first time and just experience that roller coaster of emotions one more time. Like, and that is it for the Among Us tag. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't played the game, it is free for your mobile device or you can get it for $4.99 on Steam. Again, I'll have the two I participated in from Andy Smith's channel. I'll link those below if you want to check those out and see just how fun it is to play this with your friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you soon.